throw it any harder than that? Yeah, I can. Already halfway through the Drover softball season, and the Drovers are looking strong both in and out of conference play. Freshman pitcher Nisa Sherrell got her first college career no-hitter this past week, and she's eager to lead the Drovers to the conference tournament. She's with us today. This is In the Saddle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Thanks for tuning in to this edition of In the Saddle with Drover Sports. Our guest this week is Nisha Sorrell. She's a Newcastle freshman with the Drover softball team and the Sooner Athletic Conference Pitcher of the Week. So Nisha, congratulations. What a great honor for your first year here on, you. on campus. And you had a no-hitter last week. Now at what point in the game did you know you had the no-hitter going and do you put any extra pressure on yourself knowing that, uh, hey, I got a chance, I got a chance for a no-hitter here? Um. Probably about the middle of it, like when we got the runs, I felt pretty confident. I knew that I had to keep it up in order to keep my our uh, game going and stay up on it, stay on top of it. I knew what I got to do, so I knew that I had to do my job. So You went 4-0 last week with the no-hitter and three other shutouts on top of that. So that's, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Now you've got a number of pitches in your routine, so talk about that a little bit and how they vary from one to the other. Um, I have about seven pitches. Uh, the one that I threw last week with a shutout was my curveball. It's a really good pitch because if it breaks just right, they'll swing at it, but they won't get on it because it breaks right then and there. So it's really hard to hit, and that's what I threw last uh, last week on my no hitter, but. We also came back back in on them on a screwball, which breaks in at you. So if they're on the plate or something, we like try to back them off. So we would go in and out with them. So curveball is pretty much my to-go pitch is what's getting me there. So. And coach is trying to get you to try another pitch. I had six pitches before I came here, but she taught me a curve change, which I've never heard of or done. And it's pretty cool. You hold it just like a curve and a change. You just uh, I hold it exactly like my change, but I throw it exactly like a curve and you snap it across and when it breaks, it spins and tails off like just like a curveball. What makes them hard to hit is I guess they break right at the last yeah. minute, last moment, and it's tough for the batter to adjust to the, the motion of the ball. Yeah, because also it's hard to do that because with speed behind it, which I got speed too, it's really hard to see it. Like you can see it, it'll go like right there and then it'll break off right then and there. and you just can't touch it because it breaks off. There's nothing you can really do to it. I have a record of 10 and five uh, as of our recording today, and you've got almost 100 strikeouts already on the season. So you're doing pretty well, sounds like. It feels pretty good. I mean, like I said, I just go out there. I know what I got to do, and I just do my job, so. Now talk about coming to USAO. I know it's just down the, down the turnpike a little bit. What made um, you decide to, to come to USAO? I came to USAO because I wanted to stay close to home to my family I really didn't want to go for. And I came out and I met Coach Cody and everything and I heard she was really good and that she was in coach here and everything. And I really like her and I met all the softball girls and I really like them so, and she's a pitching coach so it helps having a pitching coach as a coach also. So it helps really good and I like her a lot and I like all the girls so we all get along. So I was uh, confident about coming here and just told her I wanted to come here. Leading the team in the ERA, I think it's about 2.23, so that's very good. And your ERA last week was like less than one. So uh, that's, that's phenomenal. Yeah. All right, so talk about maybe some goals you have uh, this year and what you'd like to accomplish. Um, 
I would like to do, like, I have a little trouble in school, but I'd like to accomplish and stay on top of my work and make it through my first year of freshman and also take our, do keep doing my job and take our team to the conference game and hopefully, you know, win it. <laughs> All right, well, good luck and congratulations again on the no hitter and Sooner Athletic Conference Pitcher of the Week. Nisha Sorrell joining us on this week's edition of In the Saddle with Drover Sports. Softball coming up, Langston on Monday out at Bill Smith Ballpark and the USAO baseball team in action next week as well at home with Hillsdale College. One other note we wanted to pass along, congratulations to Maggie Oliver, a Lady Drover uh, basketball player named a Dactronics NAIA National Scholar Athlete. So congratulations for her work in the classroom. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of In the Saddle with Drover Sports. This town ain't never gonna be the same. Cause I saddle up my horse. That's our show. Don't miss any upcoming home games and make sure to check us out on our sports website. We'll see you next time on In the Saddle.